Hello, my name is Dr. Speaker Blower. In this video, I will be presenting Losus Synthesizer in its version 3.0. Losus is a synthesizer I created in 2007. The version 1 is available for free in my website. The version 2, I used it to play live in my gigs and it's available in my Facebook page for Auto Films. And the version 3 is a non free version that I will show now. We have MIDI section up here that allows you to control the pitch band range. So you see in the display here the values. The glide amount, it only works when the voices are selected to one, so it's monophonic. And the analog knob is here. This is a new thing that in version 3. It's here the circuitry. We have the FAT, the old version, and now the new addition, the analog uh, circuitry. So it allows you to uh, make the synthesizer more, uh, let's say, unstable, more unpredictable. So you, per second, you have several. Uh, changes in pitch, in the frequency uh, of the filter, uh, small differences that you uh, can set in here, how much you want. Then, voices, number of voices, now it goes to up to 24, and MIDI channel here, so you can select an, a different one. When you select monophonic mode, you have also this uh, possibility here to change between hold the key or let it be a free keyboard. And then we have here the oscillators. The oscillators are the main generators of the sound. So the sound starts here. You have two analog and two digi digital uh, oscillators. Uh, the analog allows you to change from pitch, fine pitch, the waveform, the phase or pulse wide modulation if you choose the square wave, the fat knob that allows you to um, detune two oscillators uh, on each one. Then the digital oscillators where you can draw your waveform. In here you can morph between the two waveforms, 3 and 4, and this waveform will be played by oscillator 3 that you can control its level in here. So again, pitch control and fine tune, these are the oscillators that are mixed in the mixer. You have separate controls for each one, plus ring modulation between oscillator one and two, and ring for oscillate, oscillators three and four. Sub oscillator here follows the oscillator one pitch and noise generator. Okay, then we have the filter. The filter will uh, shape the frequencies that you got from the mixer. You have five types of filter that you can select from 12 or four, uh, 24 dBs per octave. Then cut off resonance, usual controls, and then the keyboard amount on the filter and the envelope that you can um, invert here. Okay, then we have two LFOs that you can uh, opt to choose between free, run, or retrigger. Retrigger means that each time you press a key, they will start its waveform again. Or, and free run or sync values. So you can select here between hertz or sync values. Then it can be uh, sent to three different um, destinations. Cut off, phase pulse wide modulation, 
or to the amplifier. LFO2 has the same options, but you have the three different um, destinations, which are pitch, pan, or to modulate the LFO1. Then we have the envelopes. These shape the sound, final sound, on the amplifier and in the filter. So you can tell the filter that it attacks very slow, it does decay very slow, sustains on middle, and when you release the keys, it is very slow to release the filter. And the same on the amplifier. Then effects. We have three different effects here. Overdrive, this is tube emulation. You can see in the top that the valves are push, pushed harder. Then chorus, you can disengage it here. And the usual controls for chorus with mix. Delay, free or sync values. You can disengage it here. And you have the time values, it's not in sync. And the right side, you can offset it to minus or plus 50%. So you have stereo delay here. Feedback is number of repetitions and send is the amount of delay level you want. So to end this, we have the output section where you have feedback. This is filter feedback, pan, stereo wideness and the final gain. And we have, of course, the wave display here. You can see the waveform that is uh, being in the output of the synthesizer. Have all these options in the display and you have the spider eyes style level meter. So let's hear a bit of the sound. I will be starting with some pads from direct uh, presets and then we can show other sounds it can be able to produce.
now with drums. Screen recording software is in high quality mode and is asking for too much. Bye-bye. <laughs> 